guys, we're about to do a little bit of pond fishing. We're heading over to Snellville and a couple of honey holes I used to fish at when I was a kid. And uh, hopefully we can hook into some good ones. There's the old house. I lived there 13 years ago. Damn. We've arrived at the first pond. We're about to hit this heavy. We're probably going to catch a couple good ones. I haven't fished this in, what, 10 years? 10 years? No, it's first time. We're going to show you the pond in a couple seconds. we got to walk up that hill, and we'll be right there. So guys, we just got back from the first pond. We didn't have any luck, honestly. We don't think there's any fish in there. It's kind of like a retention pond. So we came to this other one. It's uh, it's in the same neighborhood, and it's actually a lake. You can see, it's huge. It's like probably, what, 40 acres? More than that. Like 200 acres, probably. Wow, I was really off. Um, So we should definitely be able to uh, catch a couple fish here, because I know there's fish in this one. So, um, I guess you'll see if we catch some fish. How did you sling? The boat floaters. Dude, he smonched that thing, bro. And it's right, right where the current. He's some, look at it. I mean, that's a nice fish. Fish. Okay. Let's, um, let's get you on the snapper. Okay. We'll get a relief on That's pretty cool. Never been to this lake. Um, Weston was just telling me about it. He said he caught a few here. But that's honestly, I wouldn't mind catching these all day. Like, that's. The mouth's pretty big on it. It's just. Hold on, let me get a picture of this. Hold on, my finger got in the way. Here, we can just, just set the camera down for a second. And aim it up. Go on. Heck yeah. Just watch this on the snapshot. Watch how sick this is going to look. <laughs> oh my god! Show it to the camera if they can see it. Oh my Can god, that's sick. Everyone's going crazy over that too. Oh, crap, dude. <laughs> I thought he was going to be a big one. Your side of Weston, so there's a decent spot over here. We're probably going to leave this pond in a little bit, though. I just found a perfect way down. God, there's, look at all these boats. Kayaks. It's ridiculous. Look at all the boats, dude. What the heck just happened? What just happened, dude? What? Seriously, I'm confused at what just happened. Dude, he was pulling your rod down. Dude, he straight up schlonced me. No, but what what happened with it? I don't know. I don't. Because I saw your shaky head in the air and you was still on, and your line was stuck on something. I don't even know what it was stuck on, and then he jumped out of the water and just came off. I think he hit me, it got me stuck, got it out, and I got hooked on something. Yeah, but Did the shaky... Did you get that all on film? Because he was up in the air. No, dude. no, I didn't get that on film. But dang, that was freaking sick. Literally, right when you pitched in here, your rod was like, boom. Let me see the shaky head. Hey, guys, we just got back from the, the second lake. We didn't really stay long, what, 30, 35 minutes. Noah caught a nice one, about a two and a half. We got on film. I caught a um, little one, about a pounder. And then we just lost one. We were uh, throwing in this blowdown right in the very uh the mouth of it and um this good one just straight up took my rod practically out of my hand right and um well, so i hook set him he pitched in there i hook set like, him i was fighting i was fighting him for like two seconds down. i fought him for like two seconds and he jumps like two feet in the air and then i get i think he fell off during that time and then i got caught on some other um some other, some like other fishing line. line that was stuck there 
So we lost him, but it was pretty cool. Then Noah tried to flip in there, but there's just a bunch of stuff. I feel like a lot of people tried to fish that, and there's a lot of fishing line in there. So yeah. Anyway, we're probably gonna go grab something to eat. If there's a Jimmy John's around, you know that's where we're going. Um, and we'll we'll be at another lake in a, probably here in about 30 minutes. We're down in Snellville at the uh, Avenue. We're about to eat some witch witch, aren't we, Noah? Taking the place of Jimmy John's today. You know, you know what it is. What to get? The Reuben, the Wicked. Hey. We got the Thank You Witch. And oh, it ain't no one anymore, it's KTB TV. Hey. Jimmy John's mistaken. I mean, what J Jimmy John's needs to step up their game. We're over at Witch Witch for the same price. Oh, we getting some, oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, no, open that, open it up. Oh, oh. He broke me off, bro. Weston. Look. He's just chilling there? Yeah, and he broke me off. We would have had a double. Little guy on the rage tail crawl. So we just got done with the, uh, the third pond of the day. This is uh, the Havenstone Pond uh, down in Snellville. We um, we only fished for what, 15 minutes now? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. We caught two fish. Me, uh, me and Noah both caught one. I caught mine on the uh, Rage Tail Crawl by Strike King. And Noah caught his on, uh, what, uh, Davis Shaky Head with... Uh, June Bug. June Bug Worm. Yeah, they were just really small. Um, if we gotta spend some more time here, I'm sure we could've caught a couple more, but... Oh, yeah, it's just slow today. Yeah, we're gonna hit one more pond and then we're we're done for the day, so catch up with you. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. I believe this is vlog number 35. Um, but yeah, we, we fished a lot of ponds today, it just wasn't happening. Not a lot of good bites. We had a few bites, but it was just really slow. That's why we switched to the shaky head. We weren't really throwing the frog or anything, but um, still had fun. Yeah. We got some good vlog footage, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So please hit that like button if you want to see some more vlogs. I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you guys. You know what to do. Yeah. Uh, after I was a Il Molino, a Soto Soto just talking women in vino. The contract like 91 Dan Marino. I swear this guy Michael Rapino's boosting my ego. Overly focused, it's far from the time to rest now. The base growing by who they think is the best now. Took a while, got the jokers out of the deck now. I'm holding all the cards and just wanna play chess now. I hear you talking, say it twice so I know you meant it. But I don't even tend it, they should know in it.